take a break in after wow announcement i'm not taking a break uh i think the next break i take i'll, I'll quit next break will be probably quitting uh if i have to take a break again i will probably quit forever I'll respond to some of the criticism, and uh, then we'll go back and we'll actually just look at the rest of the fun posts, right? So this is on my own subreddit. Everybody fucking hates me. They're so mad because I am. Uh, well, let's 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 find out why. Let's find out. Yes, paid comment. No, if it was a paid comment, I would have deleted the bad ones. Yeah, I didn't even delete any of these. Exactly. Let's look at this here. Isn't that arguments work well with chat messages? No one can explain the point of view flawless in a few words where you can. Well, yeah, sure, but people make Reddit posts about it, and it's just as stupid. Uh, yeah, it's it's always just as dumb. So so let's see what this is. Um, on a personal level, I've actually found the opposite. I found some of his takes to be a bit overly aggressive and cringy compared to a few years ago. Like what? See, this is what I've always said before, is that I think that a lot of people, I don't find this to be true at all. Yeah, like what? Like, what has been cringy? What have I said that has been cringy? Yes, where are the examples? At first, I was like, good for him, banning people. He has every right to. But now I see him ban people who ask simple questions or make a small statement, falsely interpreting things as personal attacks. I don't falsely interpret them. Sometimes I do. I'd say probably one out of every 20 times is a mistake. And I think I'm fair with that. That's fine. Uh, I'm willing to accept that level of error. Yeah, 95% accuracy. Yep, absolutely. As far as I was like, good for him, banning people he has every right to. Now I said, yeah, okay, I read, just, literally just read that, okay. Um, I, I understand he has a lot happened last year, I can empathize with it. There's been multiple occasions where I hear a take and then go ask a friend who's also a fan of Asmon if they thought it was off or harsh and they agreed. Uh, if he is happier, then better for him. Okay, so, uh, because I see him arguing with chat with questionable takes. So, when was this not the case? When did I not argue with chat? Taliesin claims you're transphobic. No, he doesn't. He doesn't think that. Your subreddits are around my Final Fantasy Andy's trying to fix you or campaign for their game. It's unusable. I'm like, you always thought reasons or understand. Yeah, I mean, and so this is really chat looking for drama. Yeah, Taliesin doesn't think that. He and I have a relatively decent relationship now and everything's fine. Like, he never said that about me at all. So I, I don't want to hear that. Uh, stop trying to start drama. Uh, what's this here? Uh, I watched him since he had maybe 2k viewers when he would still write dono goals. I don't know how many years ago, probably four or five years ago. His stream has changed a lot. Now his stream is 80% reacting slash giving his opinion. Uh, chat has to agree or else. True, or you're fucking banned. 20% uh, is gambling his real life money in Lost Ark and overly reacting every time he tries to plus one. And 20% is gameplay. Well, hey, that's pretty good, guys. I'm giving 120% to my stream. Yeah, I'm giving 120%. I mean, guys, I'm working my ass off nowadays, man. Holy shit. Uh, and, and so this is the way I look at it, right? Now I see I'm doing an unbanned stream, which, why? I've done unbanned streams for years. I, I, I've, I've done them for years. People love the content. Every single time that I see one of these, it, it's, again, people love the, un because it's fun. Yeah, it, it's fun. It's just, this is weird, right? What is this here? It's fucking hilarious. Yeah, I think it's funny. The common only means they don't like it. That's no criticism, stupid. Yeah, it's no criticism here at all. Uh, let the mods do that. What? What is this another way to ego trip and act holier than thou? Let the mods do that. Okay, well, they do. Um, uh, let's be real. Asmongold showed us his old wild screenshot where he types, and we can see his logs from back then. What he'd write in public chats, people would probably perceive him very differently. Okay. Let me shatter this illusion. Let me shatter this illusion. Let me think of a way to put this, okay? Um, I, I, I've got I've to think of a way to put this um, with my messages. No matter how bad you think that my chat logs were, they were worse. It doesn't matter. Like, if you think there was a level that I didn't go to, I, I was on that level three years ago, and by the time that I made that message, this was fucking in the rearview mirror. Like, every bad thing that you could possibly say, I said all of them. I did everything. I was the worst. I have never tried to hide that, because it's true. Yeah. It's true. Uh, everything. Uh, everyone played WoW back then, first typed like that. We we're all goddamn amateurs and talent. Don't take it so seriously. I don't. I don't take it seriously at all. It was just words, and I was just an asshole. Like, there's nothing else really to say to it besides that. I mean, what else is there to say? People would perceive me differently. What? How? Please, r remind yourself, um, I I'm not a- I'm not a saint. 
Uh, absolutely not. You're saying you're not an angel? I was a fucking demon. And now I'm... Still a demon, let's be honest. Like, let's be honest. Shame on you for being immature. Yeah, the thing is, like, this uh, uh, PewDiePie bridge word. I used to... Dude, bro, I used every single gamer word that I possibly could. Like, I would even invent new words. I would invent new bad words to use at people that didn't even really make sense that my friends and I would use. We were terrible. Absolutely. Yeah, we, we, ca we came out like, I'm trying to think of like some of the other ones. Like, Go Big Dick was an invention that Jeff and I made. That was one of the good ones, right? Made up words? Yeah, I'm trying to think of like some of these other ones that I would just fucking invent and make up that I could say without getting in trouble. And uh, that's all there is to it. Game examples? Yeah, go big dick. The thing is, that was the whole thing. And uh, listen, the cock smoker, cock ass. No, that Zach actually, the other Zach, Mick Reevy made that one up. Cock smoker. No, these are like completely brand new ideas. Like these were ideas, fret, like fresh, hot off the presses. Like I had invented this new stupid word to call people that I didn't like. Yeah, it was really great, guys. Like I, I ape shit ninja fuck. Yeah, that's one of them, right? And I used to do these all the time, man. And, uh, Pancake Barons, yeah, it's just, I'll have to, I'll, I'll, I'll actually sit down and I'll think of, like, two or three of them that I can say without getting banned, okay? About, like, what they mean. And so, yeah, I'll have to think of a number, another other ones. And, uh, let, let's see what the rest of these are. So, yeah, I've never said that. I, and, and I think that that's always been, I think, a, a, a value of my stream. It's been a value, at least I've had, uh, is to be, uh, to be myself. Uh, because I don't want to be another person. I don't want to try to pretend like I'm this other guy or something like that. And, and like, oh, I used to be better than this. I'm, I'm better than you. And absolutely not. I was not better than you. And I'm probably still not better than you. And in many regards, I don't want to be. Uh, I, I want to be myself, and that's about it. And uh, people get mad about that because they think that I'm being, uh, you know, condescending, but it's actually the opposite. Yeah, I've always been transparent. Uh, yep, the holier-than-thou shit in today's unbanned part of the stream was just like, ugh. I understand that it's his stream, and that he can probably absolutely run it the way he wants, but the whole, I'm an asshole and I'm proud of it, and if you disagree with me, you're just a dumbass because I know I'm right. Shtick has basically kept me from watching 95% of his streams lately. I don't complain in chat. Uh, I just tune out and watch someone else, but it feels like a bummer because the stream used to be really chill and down to earth And now I feel like I'm watching some dude on a podium at his mega church drone on about how he's right and everybody else is wrong And his is the only way so here's how I know that this is bullshit Because number one he watched yesterday So the odds are he watches every day and he's just mad number one number fucking two that this is what happens as well There is no example you see what I'm saying? Like, there's no example of this. There's no, like, oh, holier than thou. Can you guys, anybody who dis- Is there anybody who disagreed with my perspective on any of my bans yesterday? And I'm not gonna ban you, you're not gonna get banned for telling me, but please, who- Who do you think that I made a bad call on? Yeah, who do you think that I made a bad call on? I'm actually curious about this. Yeah, well, well yeah, who- Who was it? Um, well, let's see here. Uh, people being around for my content, he's talking about it in general? No, he meant, uh, the, the holier than now shit in today's unbanned part of the stream. That no, he's talking about something very specific. Like that's not what it was. Must be, I love to. What's this here? I uh, love to listen how you express your opinion. Yeah, yeah, sure. And um, the dude who said you want to rape a girl, he said something really bad. He said that he wanted to rape a girl, and he apologized for it. And he said he's never going to say anything like that again. And I unbanned him. I gave him a second chance. Yeah. Yeah, I gave him a second chance. He apologized, he admitted what he did was fucking stupid, and I gave him a second chance. I did. Because I, I th here's, here's my mentality of why I give people second chances for that. And uh, it was years ago. Yes, it was also years ago. And um, this is why I give people second chances. Is that there are a lot of people out there that get really upset, and they have a really bad day, and they say something really stupid. And I think that if you allow that to be a permanent mark on their life, they will treat it as a person, as a personality trait. You basically allow them to internalize it and you don't allow them to live past their mistakes and you don't allow them to live past the worst moments in their life. And I think that also whenever you ostracize people from a community or a society like that, what you end up doing is you end up making them even more radical and even more extreme and you make them act that way even more. 
So the reason why I do that is I look at things not from the perspective of how can I punish this person. I look at them from the perspective of how can I create the most good? How can I do whatever I think is fair and best for the most people? And I think that this is best for the most people because it gives this person an opportunity to improve from their behavior. And in the case that, it, that, that they don't, well, we're just going to report them to Twitch and get them banned. Like, I was going to say we're going to ban them in every chat. We're going to get his account banned. So who gives a shit? Like, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, not the act like a retard get treated like one? Well, yeah, we did. We did treat him like one. We banned him. He got banned. He acted like a fucking moron, and he got fucking banned. That's right. But do you want... Do, is it a good... And a, is, this, is this better for everybody to keep somebody banned constantly and allow that to be something that they are defined by? I don't think it is. I actually don't think it is. I disagree with that. I think that a lot of people are looking for retribution, and I don't look for retribution in many cases unless I feel like somebody was genuinely malevolent. And I think that a lot of people, I don't know how many people come on and they tell me, they're like, listen, man, like, I have to deal, like, as a streamer, right? I have to deal with a lot of, like, really nutty people all the time. And I have people send me the most absolutely batshit messages constantly. And sometimes they'll message me afterwards, and they will say, listen, I was having a bad day, um, you know, my mom, uh, you know, I don't know, like, she got sick, or, uh, my dog died, or, you know, my girlfriend broke up with me, or my boyfriend hit me, or something like that, and then you just immediately fucking freak out and, and send yourself these messages. I don't think anybody is in a position to be obligated to do what I do, because I don't think anybody should willingly allow themselves to be abused in a way that makes them uncomfortable, but I can deal with it, and I can take it. And so, and sometimes I don't, and I, I block them anyway. But many cases, I, I don't. And I say, all right, it is what it is. You had a bad day. People have bad days. Who are mad about the other guys? That the others who apologize? Like, uh, like someone called someone fat, apologized for it, but you left them banned? Well, no, they didn't apologize for it. And he didn't call somebody fat. He called my friend fat. Uh, yeah, he called my friend fat. And I said that he could get unbanned just fine. But he didn't need to apologize to me because I didn't ban him. s fan banned him. So how is it fair for me to unban somebody who's making fun of my friend? Yeah. And, and so this is the kind of stuff. And, and so, and, and whenever I, uh, uh, what about, yeah, what about, yeah, this is the thing. It's the what about this, what about that, etc. And that's kind of what the issue is. I believe in freedom of speech, whereas hate speech, whatever. I don't really, I'm not talking about freedom of speech. What I'm talking about is doing, doing what I consider to be the most good. You see what I'm saying? And, and I consider this to be the most good. Now, there are people that disagree with me. Absolutely. There are people that disagree with me. That's fine. But I think that I'm making the right decision. And I, I, I will continue making that decision. And I risk getting in trouble. Like, Twitch could get mad at me. Somebody else could get mad at me for saying this. I don't care. Because I know that I'm right. And I'm not going to listen to anybody else. Because I think that I'm right. Yeah, I, I think that I'm right. And I will listen to what other people think, absolutely. But it doesn't matter to me. And, and this is what I'm saying, right? Is like people get really mad at me and they get pissed off because I'm not doing things the way that they should. And the reason why I don't explain myself is because it's a waste of my time. Yeah, it, it's a waste of my time because these people go into it looking to disagree with me and they're not going to listen to my reasoning and they're just going to get mad about it anyway. You always explain yourself, though? I'm explaining myself in this circumstance because it's become more and more of a conversation topic. Absolutely. Everyone going consequences of what they think they would face at their job. That's just chatter on a stream, not IRL. It's just not as serious. Well, I don't really care about what people want. A lot of people want public executions. That doesn't mean that we do them. People wanting something doesn't mean that it should happen. It, it, that's, that's a bad way to look at it at all. People get really pissed off about this kind of stuff, and uh, I just want people to understand, like, that's what my, uh, my case is. You know, that, that's the way I feel about it. That's what I think. And um, every time that I read these comments or I do anything like this, but um, mods are going hyper in the stream and banning like crazy. Oh, I banned a few people myself. Uh, people that are rude to me or type negative things to me tell me that I'm boring or, you know, oh, don't talk about this for whatever reason. I'll just permaban you. Yeah, I, I, I want to, if I, like, it's it's very obvious that I want to talk about this, right? So, if I want to talk about something, and then people are telling me not to talk about something I want to talk about, why would I not ban them? Does that make any sense to you?
Yeah, well, well, why does that make, yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Like, of course not. Like, obviously this is care, this is something I care about. Like, there are a lot of people out there who are unhappy about the way that I'm doing my stream, and, and I think that they're totally off base. Uh, I really do. I think that they're totally off base. What if he's, what if they're having a bad day? Well, then they can apologize in a ban appeal and I'll unban them too. <laughs> Problem solved. I, I'm, I'm actually very consistent with this. Yeah, it, it's that simple. So yeah, Major Scream, most of the time, keeping an open mind is important for life and for science. Yeah, but we're not really talking about science here. Uh, it's my life, too. People say Echo Chamber isn't a part of a stream to have like-minded community. Yeah, and um, all I'm really trying to say here is that um, w whenever I look at this stuff and I see these criticisms, I think that they're completely transparent. Th th like, these are not relevant. They're stupid. They are... Uh, the moment that you really talk about them or you think about them... It, or I think about them in any sort of a legitimate way, uh, I, I realize how transparent and dumb they are. Like, the holier-than-now shit in the unbanned stream. Get the fuck out of here. Like, it's just, it's so fucking pathetic. Uh, I, I'll read a few more, and then I want to move on, okay, guys? Your stream, your rules? Yeah, of course, right? But that's always how I've done things, right? Absolutely. Why are you even addressing this? Because it's become an increasingly large conversation point with people in my community that are unhappy that I'm not tolerating their stupidity. And, and, and that's why I'm addressing it. It's because I have to read this every day. Yeah, that, that's that's why. That's why I'm addressing it. it it's because I'm, I'm tired of reading it. Yeah, that, that's the simple uh, that's the simple reality. Yes, of course. Uh, let, let's read the rest of these. Feeling the same, sadly. The intros get more tiresome as long arguments get more and more, and some chatters make dumb arguments, and Asmon tries to justify his opinions. Uh, I must say that I can't watch Lost Ark. It's just too boring, and every time I tried to give it a shot, uh, it's just a stream about spam upgrading. I'm not sure about Lost Ark streams. Reality streams are a great start. Uh, it's kind of hard to watch them getting confused about the same stuff over and over again. Feels like a bit much for me sometimes. So, yeah, people don't like the intro because I'm talking about something that they disagree with. And... I think I should I should step back a little bit and I should talk a little bit about my um, my perspective of the way that I do streams now and what I decided I was going to do coming back to my community, coming back to streaming again on my main channel, is that I decided that I'm just not going to care anymore. And people always wanted me to not care, just don't care, but then whenever I actually just don't care, they get upset about it because actually they want me to care and they want me to indulge their opinions. They want me to do what they want. But the fact is that I don't want to deal with this. You saw the pooper noodle tweet? Yeah, I saw the, yeah, the, the method Josh thing. I did see that. Uh, absolutely. So um, uh, this is the way that I look at it, right? Is that um, I'm not going to, uh, people don't know what they want. Exactly. And uh, they want you to care about them. Yeah, absolutely they do. And so this is what I'm going to do is that from now on, and this is what I've done for many, many years, and uh, I'm going to do it even more, more readily now here. And um, I'm going to just scream and talk about what I want. And I'm not burning out either. Like I'm not getting stressed out as much about my streams at all. Like, and I'm streaming way longer. Why? Because actually I'm not acting fake. I'm being who I am. If somebody pisses me off, I'm going to immediately fucking ban them. I'm going to berate them. I'm going to talk shit about them. And I would do even more if the TOS was different. I am an asshole. I am a huge fucking asshole. And to be honest, you know what burned me out? Was not being able to act that way. Not having to fucking muzzle myself. Having to not, oh, oh, don't talk about this. Don't say that. It's going to hurt people's feelings. Fuck that. I'm an asshole. I want to talk about the shit that I want to talk about. And if people get pissed off about it, fuck them. That's the way I looked at it. And I came back and I'm feeling fucking great. Because I can finally be myself and I'm not sorry either. That's the thing. So these people, they, they, this, is the, this is the kind of stuff that used to burn me out is these people's expectations. Yeah, you can't please everyone and do the thing. Yeah, exactly. And I think that my stream has become more successful because of it, because I've decided to become myself rather than what people want me to be. And I think that, like, just for, for like my whole life, I spent a lot of years trying to be another person, trying to be uh, a different person, trying to, uh, you know, like, live up to the expectations of maybe society, try, being unhappy that uh, I'm not being uh, taken seriously for whatever reason. And eventually I just decided, uh, I, never mind. Fuck them. 
Uh, I'm not going to do it anymore. I don't want to see that anymore. And I, I feel like there have been times in the past where I've let the mask slip. And I decided coming back to streaming, I'm not going to wear the mask at all. I'm just going to be me. And that's it. And I think there's a lot of people, they like the mask. They like me, you know, being nice and coddling them and telling them that their stupid opinions are, far, are, are smart and funny. But they're not. They're fucking dumb. They're dumb and delusional. And I'm not going to deal with it anymore. Yeah, I, I'm going to tell people exactly what I think. I'm going to do exactly what I want. And that's all there is to it. People get mad. They get upset about this. It's okay. I see people use the argument that they want to be themselves as an excuse for not trying to improve themselves. I don't want to improve myself. I don't. I have spent my entire life being told that everything that I do is wrong. Everything that I do, everything that I think, all the ways that I act, the way that I talk, the way that I say things, the way that I look at things, my interests, everything. Everything about me is wrong. Who told you that? All of society. Yes, th that's it. A and so, uh, you do to some extent, I don't want to improve because I don't think that I'm wrong. And so I know that the completely right. That's why I got so many people watching you. Yeah, and there's a lot of people that get upset and, and they get their feelings heard, uh, heard about this. And uh, I can see there's a lot of chatters. And I knew that I would lose people and people would get mad about this because I think that a lot of them, uh, you know, they, they liked me coddling them and, you know, reinforcing their opinions and telling them that they were right and trying to make a big deal out of things that don't matter. But I'm tired of that because it was exhausting for me mentally. Uh, I don't like trying to keep up with that. And I think that eventually, if you try to be a person that you're not, you will eventually just lose. You'll eventually like, burn yourself out. Uh, does that make sense? Yeah, do, do you guys, yeah, there's a lot of these fucking, a, a lot of these are really, really long, right? But it, it, it all, yeah, it's hard to wear a mask. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh, I'm just going to be myself and that's it. It's just toxic to yourself. Never lose yourself. The thing is that, um, uh, why would you hold your personality? Uh, would you hold your personality when you live in a free country? Because you have to make people happy in the world, right? You do. But, um, I, I don't want to do that anymore. As will turn villain? Yeah, sure. I, I, sure, absolutely. Whatever whatever you want to call it. And, and the thing is that another expansion week on Wildhead? Wait, really? Wait a second. Um, let me see. Um, let me go ahead and double check here. Dragonfly Expansion League rumors and speculation. Oh, that's nothing new. We've already seen all of this. Yeah, I'll look at all that stuff in a minute, okay? Means you're changing yourself. You think it's a good way? Yeah, absolutely. And so, like, that's that's all that really comes down to it, right? You don't have to make people happy. You choose to make them happy if you want to. Yeah, sure. And um, uh, I got very upset about this. I would get very mad whenever people would, uh, would not like the way that I, I did things. And uh, I think that it was very hard for me to cope with people disagreeing with me or disliking me whenever I was uh, doing the, uh, you know, trying to be somebody I'm not. And now it's not draining at all for me because I am who I am and I'm confident in that. And it's the first time that I've ever been that way. And I, I feel good about it. So yeah, tell you take pride in being an asshole, but we get banned if we step out of line. Well, you can ban me too. Just stop watching the stream. Uh, number one. Number two, I actually don't think that I'm an asshole. I don't, I really don't think I'm an asshole. If you want my honest opinion, I think the whole world is fucked up and I'm one of the only people that's not. Right? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm on that level, right? Yeah, I, I, that's the way I think about things and that's what I think. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, I think the whole world is fucked up and, and I'm one of the only people that doesn't look that way. Right? That's why I, I stay away from other people and I don't like being around other people. I like being by myself. And uh, everyone thinks like that? Yeah, well, a lot of people don't want to say it. You're abrasive, but no bad intentions? Sure. And, uh, yeah, I've spoken like a true maniac? Well, I've always been a maniac. And, and I think this is what, the, this is, this is the whole point of this conversation. Is that I've always been a maniac. I've always been a, a, a fucking insane. And now I'm just not afraid to not show it or to show it. I'm just, oh uh, yeah, fine. All right, I, I'm gonna, you know what? Let, let's talk about how uh, robot sex dolls are gonna take over and, and there's not gonna be, uh, you know, like normal, normal marriages in 20 years. Yeah, let's go talk about that. Let's talk about how they're gonna make people indentured servants again. Oh yeah, 100%, let's go, let's go do that. And so that's the way I look at it, man. Uh, I wanna be, uh, I wanna talk about and do what I wanna do, okay?
The keep what you're doing, get annoying people out of the community. Yeah, exactly. And uh, that that's that's what it comes down to. And um, yeah, I'll, 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 yeah, I just want to be myself from now on. And um, that's that's all. There. Read the comment you're currently on. Okay, I'll read this comment, then I want to move on. Okay, guys. Yeah, because uh, there's there's a lot of these, and I think they all pretty much say the same thing. Uh, Asmon doesn't agree. A Asmon's opinions aren't good, and he's playing Lost Ark, right? Like that's that's. I, I think you could summarize most of the way that people feel based around those two statements. Um, I'm glad you're enjoying the stream lately. Val Versible Val opinion, I have to disagree. Following Asmon since late 2018, ever since he came back in February, I felt like his content is less enjoyable. Um, it's not because of the games. In fact, I think it's great that he's doing more variety, although I don't like Lost Ark. Um, I, I think it's a good idea to ban people who annoy them. I would do the same. My issue is Asmon and his attitude, his arrogance. I'm right and you're wrong and you're dumb. And if you keep insisting, I'm going to ban you. His aggressive responses sometimes and so on. I I'm also not very fond of his huge hypocritical behavior and refusing to acknowledge it's wrong. No, I'm not. That's right. That's right. Uh, that's right. See, this is another person. Uh, I, like, we can all pretend it's all Giga Chad with this, yeah, I'm a hypocrite and I don't care. Uh, but the reality is that that sort of attitude will only people make, take you, make people take you less seriously as time goes on. Next time Asmon says something like, I don't like this kind of thing and I would never support it, I would recommend people take his words with a grain of salt. I would, re I would recommend people do that the whole time. Uh, absolutely. I don't like his tendency of picking the worst possible comment on this chat and then generalize an entire community because of that person or sometimes misinterpret some comments and what people are trying to say. Okay. That's true. Sometimes I do that. Sure. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's fair. Uh, some asshole in chat in a good sea of comments somehow Asmon picks up the bad one says something stupid Asmon responds to it but in the process says something inaccurate people try to correct him or debate his points Asmon gets super mad because in his mind he's always right and proceeds to generalize an entire community for being x or y we saw it happen the other day we saw it happen the other day see this is what I find to be so funny about these statements is that they never have any substance at all they never have any substance in any regard because they're completely fucking vapid. They're completely vapid. They have no argumentation and there's no actual substance or reasoning behind them. It's just people are mad because I'm saying something that they disagree with and they can't express why they disagree. They're just mad that I'm not indulging their opinion. That's all there is to it. He's right though. Um, talking uh, about living in someone's head rent free. Even if they had, you'll find any excuse more to feed your ego? Well, yeah, but at least I'd have to disagree with what he said. It would be harder to feed my ego if he actually gave me a reason, but he didn't even do that, so it made it even easier. We're, 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 we're playing ego feeding on easy mode. They're mad and they're trying to find reasons to be mad after the fact. Yeah, exactly. Uh, let, let's see what the rest of this is. Um, we know the biggest problem I have, it's that even if Asmon reads all of these complaints, he'll dismiss all of them and say it's just a vocal minority. That people complaining are mad because of dumb reasons, when in reality, a lot of criticism of his content are fair. Um, in reality, people love his content based on chat's opinion, and he might even go to each one of our profiles and look for something incriminatory and say, Ha! This game's an X, this guy's an X game Andy, of course he's mad. And he might be right, but it doesn't mean that some of the criticisms aren't accurate or reasonable. His social media platforms are also a shit state. The subreddit is getting worse every day. What used to be a place to discuss everything Asmongold has now become a repository for React content with mods deleting anything that's not good for the stream, even though some of the posts they remove are pretty interesting. His YouTube is filled with vague clickbaity titles and his Twitch chat is the worst it's ever been. Of course, these are my two cents. Because that can do whatever he wants, it's his content and his platform. And this direction makes him happy, good for him, and keep going. So, yeah, we could probably cut down a little bit on the clickbait on YouTube for sure. Twitch chat is the worst it's ever been. That's not true. That That is, this is just simply not true. Like, like this is, okay, when did you start watching? 2018. You watched me during Classic, and you're going to tell me that it's the worst it's ever been? Wait a second. Late 2018, that's whenever I played Dark Souls. You're going to go around and tell me that Dark Souls and Classic weren't worse than it is now? I can give you an example. Most people are mauled on your Lost Ark content because on the trailer video, you said you're not going to give a fuck if the game's pay to win. And for them, that means that you'll quit or something. Yeah, I changed my mind. Yeah, I changed my mind. That That's... Yeah, that that's that so that that's like the whole story. 
yeah, I, I changed my mind. And, and, and so, like, yeah, I changed my mind. Like, I, I, I was like, oh, you know what? The game's still fun. I'm enjoying it. Yeah, it's pay to win, but WoW is pay to win too. I'm sick of drawing these lines in the sand of what game I will and I won't play. It's going to be reductive for me if I want to continue doing variety streaming. And I just want to move on past this, so I'm going to keep playing it. That was what was going on in my head. Yeah, I decided I want to do that. But you banned a bunch of your audience over years for it? Yeah, I did the same thing during Dark Souls and Classic WoW. And I was happier because of it. Yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, I, I did that. Yes, I, exactly. And um, yeah, uh, it's being overly confrontational, alienates people that weren't necessarily disagreeing with you in the first. Yeah, I'm an asshole. That's just how I am. That's my personality. Like, I, I, I and, and this is the thing. You guys can probably tell this. Whenever I first come back to streaming, I'm much more reasonable. Uh, I'm much more, um, uh, what, what's the word for it? Just a second, I turn this off. Um, I'm much more, you know, agreeable. And then as time goes on, after I've streamed longer and longer, that stops. Because it's hard to act for that long. It's hard, it's, it stops. It, I become less accommodating. I become less patient with people. I become more of a fucking asshole. That's it. And, and, and that's it. You're an asshole. You're a bearded man. Yeah, well, I think that most of the time it's about the same thing, okay? And, uh, yeah. Here's the thing. Is that, um, people probably miss the drama in the classic and Dark Souls because it felt like kind of dumb. Because you, uh, which is kind of dumb because it caused you to stop streaming and fuck that. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, that's where it comes down to. Patience and suffering. Fool's worse than. I'm the same way. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I feel the same way too. And, uh, take a break again after a while announcement. I'm not taking a break. Uh, I think the next break I take, I'll, I'll quit. Next break will be probably quitting. Uh, if I have to take a break again, I will probably quit forever. That is that is my plan. Is that if I take a break again, like unless it's like some kind of crazy, like you know, like a, a health thing or whatever, uh, I'll quit. And because um, it's obviously at that point, uh, you know, it would have happened like four or five times, and it's clearly unhealthy for me. You know, it, it's clearly unhealthy. Uh, I've tried different ways to handle things and deal with them. So uh, if it continues to be that stressful, uh, it's something that I'd have to move on and do something different with my life because I would be at that point ruining my life. Uh, so yeah, that, that's the way I would look at it and uh, that's the way I would feel. Does that make sense? So yeah, I, I mean, it's just... Uh, it, I, I think that again, like yeah, if somebody asks me, like, do, do, am I taking this seriously? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Because I, I know that every single year, this is what I've done for my whole stream ever since 2017, is that every single year I have reinvented my stream in one way or another. I have done different games. I have done my stream differently in general. Uh, I have done that. And every single year I will lose people and, and that's just the way it goes. And so, uh, where would your shift be to? Where would be more comfortable? Oh, uh, you guys want to see what it would be like if I wasn't screaming? Okay, here we go. All right. So that's the difference. So yeah, um, that's the that's the whole thing. That's the only thing that would change. I would still spend all day on the computer. I just wouldn't be having it on. What about vacation like anyone else? No, uh, I'm I'm not a person who can do things in moderation. Uh, it's just not the case. And so, uh, yeah, Zach Rar stream. I don't know if I would do that or not. I, I have no idea. Do you see yourself streaming in 10 years from now? Yeah, probably. Well, we'll see what happens. I, I don't I don't plan on, on, on quitting again. Uh, I, I don't. Uh, it's not what I'm thinking about. And so, uh, yeah, I, I think every year I've tried to reinvent my stream to a different extent and do things a little bit differently. Every year I will lose people and every year people will be unhappy because I've changed what I did last year that made them like me. And that's just what's going to happen. It is. It, it's just what's going to happen. And, and I, I, I hate to see it happen, but it's never going to stop happening. You've changed? Yes, I have. Uh, I have in many regards. And so do what makes you happy. Yeah. And the thing is, like, I... Uh, I... Uh, Let me think of a way to put this, okay? This is the last topic I'm going to go through, and then we're going to look at the rest of this, okay? Fake run? Yeah, sure. I am the kind of person that is happy whenever other people are sad. I am a happiness vampire. I am a 
I've always been like this. I have just been a complete jackass. And just like me, yes, I am. I, I really am. And it's just... I have spent my whole life for many, many, many years trying to not be that person. And trying to hide that and everything like this. Not anymore. Not anymore. I... I I felt like whenever, and like this is kind of a, a, a heavy topic, right? But whenever I lost my mom, I a, a big part of what made me vulnerable and, and, and weak emotionally was gone. It, it was it was gone. And I I, I don't get uh, scared or sad or upset as much as I used to. You have no idea how much it emotionally drained me over the years and years and years and made me stressed out because um, I, I would just never know what was going to happen to me. I would never know what was going to happen to her. And it was like, um, uh, it, 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 it's like a, trying to hold on to something that, that's just going to fade away and you're, you're trying your best and it's trying its best to get away from you. And, and you do that for so many years, and you try so hard to to hold on to it, to, uh, you know, bring it back. I, I was like seven years old, telling my mom, please stop smoking, stop doing this, stop doing this. And she just never would do it. She would never do it. She would never even take me seriously. She wouldn't do it at all. And um, I, I was so angry about this, and I would, I would be so mad. And it was just awful, and it just killed me, man. It just fucking killed me. Like, there were so many times I just wanted to kill myself. And I, it was the only thing that I was like really afraid of. You, you know what I mean? Was like, was like dying and like death and everything like that. And then whenever I lost her, I, I'm not afraid anymore. I don't, I, I'm not afraid anymore. I can just live my life every day. And it was the worst thing that's ever happened to me. And it completely changed me in that way. I, I don't. I, I don't I don't get stressed out the same as I used to anymore because it was something that made me so emotionally weak after all those years that I just couldn't deal with it anymore and now I, I don't feel that way anymore and, and I think back and it's like today's Easter and we used to have you know the you know going and we would do the eggs and you know she'd, she'd plant the eggs for me and everything and it just it sucks it really does but that's, you can't do anything about it. You can't stop it. You can't push it away. Time goes on no matter what. And that finality of it... Uh, it, it, it... It's in a way it's free. Because there's nothing that you can do. You can't stop it. You can't hold it back. You can't... Uh, hope it won't happen. You can't hold on to what's falling away. There's nothing that you can do. And I, I, I've tried to embrace that a lot more. Because if you don't, it'll embrace you. And that's what it did for years. And it ruined my life. It completely ruined my life. So yeah, I, uh, I, 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 and whenever I was very young, I used to be the same way that I am now. And over the years, I just kind of got beat down and upset, etc. And um, it, 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 it was never, it wasn't me, it wasn't me, and now I, I can be me again. And I, I, I don't know, like, yeah, it's weird. It, it, it is fucking weird, man. It, it's it's really fucking weird. Um, some good replies to the comment. I I I, I mean, I'm not gonna read every comment, right? But that that's about it. And um, yeah. Did you do therapy? No. I just sat in front of my right. The way that I I feel better is I stay away from other people. Like, that's all there is, is huge load off your chest? Yeah, it was, it was. 
Um, like I, uh, you have no idea how stressful it is driving home every day and you never know what you're going to come home to. You have no idea. And I'm like, actually, probably a lot of you guys do. Like, uh, that's actually not true. Probably a lot of you guys have been in the same position uh, or you're going to be in that position and it, it just sucks, man. Like, I, uh, uh yeah, it, would you ever marry someone that smokes heavily because of that whole thing? Absolutely not. Yep, absolutely not. Yeah, just be yourself. Yeah, exactly. And, um, I know exactly how you feel. Watch when I slowly died cancer. Never helped herself. Came down one day. Yeah, it's just, uh, it just sucks, man. It just fucking sucks. And, um, uh, in a way, it killed a big part of my personality. A and I think it it's a good or a bad thing, right? Based off of, like, what kind of part of me you liked. But that part of me is dead. Like, I I'm not going to act that way ever again. I'm not going to feel that way ever again. That's done. And so I, I don't want to, I, I, people get upset that I'm not acting that way anymore and indulging things that same way. No, never going to, it will never be that way again. Yeah, that, that's all there is to it. Act now. Yeah. Um, oh, calm down. Are you speaking too far into the future? Yeah, I think so too. I mean, you know, that's actually a good point. Yeah. I don't know what's going to happen in the future, but that's the way I feel now. Yeah, you're, you're right about that. Yeah, you're, you're definitely right. Uh, it's the way I feel now, and maybe in the future I'll change, but I don't know. Who knows what the future holds? You're, you're a good point. Who washed your clothes? Well, I, I had to wash my own fucking clothes. It was awful. And now I still do. And I'm just, I'm, I, I bought a new shirt. Even these pants I bought at Target. Yeah, I bought these pants at Target. I didn't want to have to fucking go and wash my clothes. Uh, it, it's awful, man. Yeah, I, I don't know. As hard as it sounds, it'd be important to forgive your mom to feel completely free. Oh, I forgive her. She's gonna do what she's gonna do. Like, it's not, it's not, like, what is, is she just gonna do what she's gonna do? It's, it's her life. Like, like, I, I, the thing is, I grew up, it was great. Whenever I grew up, I was very happy, and I just didn't want to lose it. You know, and, uh, it, it's gonna happen. And, and it did, and, and there it is. Like, yeah, I mean, there, there it fucking is. It, it, it happened. Like, I was so, bro, it was so good growing up, man. Oh, my God, it was so good. Yeah, get a team of maids and one hooker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, chill out, bro. Like, you don't wear clothes. You don't wash clothes before wearing them. Buying them from Target. Some kid for sure wiped his nose on nose. Oh, that's fine. I'll probably be okay. Yeah, I'm not that worried about it at all. And uh, for his go over therapy could shorten that up. But I, I feel like, um, yeah, I, I feel like it's... It's a good thing that I, I'm I feel differently and it's I think like talking about it Especially since it's like an emotional thing. I'm probably not doing a very good job um, Saying it in the right way and the best way because I haven't really thought about saying this before uh, Until I just said it so like usually like you know if I'm gonna if I know I'm gonna talk about something I'll like talk it out in my head of like okay I'm gonna say this and say that and say this and say that right but like with this I'm just kind of free uh, you know like free handing it so it, it's not ideal I appreciate content being unapologetically evil or being a better person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just, it, it is what it is. Same situation, bro. I was on the heavy smoker. It's only a matter of time, man. We'll be tomorrow in a week, next year. Uh, you never know. And um, it, it's incredibly selfish to do that. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Like, I mean, it's nothing. The thing is, like, you can always get mad about, like, oh, wow. Why can't, what, why, what, why, why, why is the world not existing in the way that I wish it could exist? But it doesn't change it. It's not gonna. I, it doesn't matter. Yeah, I, it, it's just not. It's not gonna be a thing. Exaggerated voice makes it so much funnier. Yeah, I know. It's about entertainment. I think that's what it is. Be more open like that every now and then, especially whenever it matters. Yeah, I mean, uh, I I try to not be too much, but that's generally the way that I feel. And uh, mom just started walking with a cane, freaking me out a bit. Yeah, I remember whenever that happened. It was like three or four years ago for me. Like, uh, first time it happened, I actually lay down and cried. It was so bad, man. Like, fuck. Oh, my God. I don't even want to talk about that. Honestly, I don't. Let's go ahead and let's look at some of the other stuff.